Well, good morning everybody. Welcome to another short episode on Thinking Beautiful Coffee. I've had a request just to talk about the easiest way and the simplest way to make really beautiful coffee. Where do we start? Well, we start with the Highland Arabica Molin coffee bean and it is an absolutely beautiful bean. Single origin, medium roast, honey processed and it doesn't get any better. And as I'm sitting here talking to you, all I can smell is this beautiful aroma coming from the bag. We have the one kilo, we have the 500, we have the 250 gram bag as well. So it all starts with the bean. If you don't have a great bean, you're not gonna have a great coffee, but this will give you a beautiful coffee. So coffee beans, priority number one. The next thing I have in my coffee armory is I have a really nice little hand grinder here and it took me a while to find this and I have mentioned this one in the past. This is called a Time More. This is their small hand grinder. It's got a beautiful feel to it, but more importantly, it just grinds the beans perfectly and it has some really nice grind settings on it. Very easy to set the grind because obviously you're gonna use a different grind for whatever machine you're using, whether you're using filtered coffee, mocha coffee or espresso coffee, you're gonna to have to change your grind. That does it beautifully. Not only that, it gives this incredible aroma once you're grinding the coffee. Now this is their small version, Time More. I think it's about $110, but definitely worth the investment because the other grinders I've had have actually broken. Mocha pot, and as you know, I'm a bit of a fan of the Valetti mocha pots. I have a couple of these, but this is the one that I keep on the boat. So I'm talking to you today about making beautiful coffee better than you get in a cafe out on the boat. So you can do this, you can do it camping, you can do it at home, you can do it basically anywhere. Lastly, I just like to use a thermos cup and I like to use a thermos cup because I like my coffee to stay hot for a long time. So whether I'm doing a long black or a flat white, I'll use the thermos cup for that as well. So that's the basic ingredients of where you start to have a beautiful coffee. Well, I'm going to take you through the grinding process now and I'm going to use the small 250 gram bag and if ever you get a coffee from me, what I'd like you to do first is just put your nose up to the to the breather hole and squeeze the bag because it is just an aroma that you will not beat. So just opening the 250 gram bag and what you'll notice is there's a pull tab across the top and there is a zip seal just inside the bag. And again, take the opportunity to just smell your beans before you even start grinding. For, for this pot, I just really fill it up to just below the top. And you can see it just sits on the top here. Place the grinding handle on top. And this is where you get the real tactile sensation now. As you grind, you get a tactile sense of actually grinding the beans. And it really gives you a sense of where that's at. And at the same time, it just releases this beautiful aroma, which is really quite stunning. It's not a big process. It really just takes probably less than a minute. I've just finished the grinding now. And you notice it's finished when all of a sudden the grinding handle just becomes loose and it's not actually grinding any more coffee. It's done. So I'll take the handle off. Just I'll just undo the bottom. And in the bottom there, what you'll see is you'll now see all the ground coffee and that's a setting that I like to use for the mocha pot. So that's simply how you use the Time More hand grinder for the best value for money grinder I've, hand grinder I've actually used. So let's go over now and we'll put it into the mocha pot and we'll do the brew and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so now we go from the hand grinder to the mocha pot and the nice thing about the hand grinder, it comes with this little brush as well and I'll show you how you use that. So I've filled my six cup mocha pot up to the breather hole, which is what I do. And in reality, as I said, I only get two cups out of that. So I place my little filter cup in the top and then I empty the ground coffee into there and I just use the brush just to extract all that lovely ground coffee. And again, the aroma. As I'm doing this, it just smells beautiful. And if I can say one thing about the difference between making your own coffee at home as opposed to buying a coffee, what you miss out on in the cafe is the actual aroma smell of a roasted bean, particularly one that's been ground. It is just unbelievable. So there it is now. It's just sitting in the top of the mocha pot. No need to um, tamp it that down. I'll place the top of the mocha pot on and just screw that up firmly because if you don't, it will actually seep out through the sides here. So just hand tight on the top of the mocha pot. And what I'll do now is I'll take that over to the stove and we'll brew a coffee and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I've just put the mocha pot on and just 
set the flame right for that so it's not lapping around the sides. Obviously making sure that when you put water inside you don't ever go above the breather hole there because that's obviously to let steam out as the water starts to boil. I've just put some milk on the background so I'm going to have a flat white in the thermos cup this morning. So we'll just let that brew. As it starts to percolate you'll actually hear that in the mocha pot and not long after you hear it percolate you turn the heat off it so the rest of the coffee can percolate through without overflowing. Okay so I'm just starting to hear the early stage of percolation. So I'll just have a look in here and you can see the coffee coming up. My milk has just reached a nice temperature. Now you can see the mocha pot in action. And that smell is just beautiful. So I'll turn that I'll turn that pot off now. Okay, so I'm going to take the coffee that I've just brewed and I half fill my thermos cup. Again, you can just smell that beautiful smell now as it comes out of that mocha pot. That's gorgeous. Just pour my, my milk on top now. And there it is. What a perfect cup of coffee. So let's taste the fruits of our labour and see what the mocha pot actually produced. Oh, that is just delightful. And you're always going to start the day well when you start with a Moland coffee. So enjoy.